What is up, y'all? Um, Vinyl Babies, Funky Phantom here with another music related vid. Vinyl vid this time. Got a little something here from Merch Now. If you are familiar with the merch company Merch Now, then you know something good is in here. Depending on who you are. But nine times out of 10, it's something good. So this is actually from Rise Records. Rise Records. Um, I mean, there's a it, it, predominantly rock record label, um, but uh, personally one of my favorite uh, record labels, uh, which just, they've, they've always had a good handful of bands that I've been a fan of. You know, even when the bands that I like leave the label, there's always at least two that I'm, you know, always been listening to, always been a fan of, you know, bust it open um, and we'll get into them. Uh, but I have to say, and I don't know if this will still be going on by the time of this video, because I know this video is going to be coming up a little late, depending on when I put it up. I don't know. But um, this package comes from Rise Records and Merch Now, specific though. Rise Records is doing a promotion right now where they are um, doing like a buy one, get up. They're doing a BOGO, buy one, get one free for their uh, vinyl stuff, their vinyl records. But yeah, Rise Records, they're doing, uh, as of this time, they're doing a BOGO on their vinyl all their vinyl, I, I believe all their vinyl. Um, and of course, I had to take advantage of it. I had to see what it was about. Cause I mean, again, one of my favorite record labels, a lot of my favorite bands are on that label. So, you know, and a lot of them I don't have records by, or, you know, certain records I don't have by them. So, um, wanted to check it out. Definitely had two, at least two records I wanted to cop. And then I found out that, yeah, it's BOGO on everything. So, you know, you get two records, you'll get two other records. You, you get two records, one of them's gonna be free. You get four records, two of them are gonna be free. You get six records, my math was almost wrong. <laughs> you get six records, three of them are gonna be free. And, and so on and so forth. So, I had to take advantage of that uh, while I could. And if it's still going on right now, I will put a link in the description um, uh, so you guys can take advantage of it as well. I know it's for a limited time, so if there's no link in the description, then that means they're done. It's, they're not doing it anymore. Let's bust this bad boy open so I can talk about what's inside and show y'all because I know y'all care about what some stranger on the internet got in the mail. So yeah, let's dig it. Oh yeah, come on. can't forget to introduce the color of boxes or so, you know. Color of boxes, this always comes in handy when it's packaged. All right. So, let's do it like I did the, um, my, let's do it like I did other records, the other boxes. Let's go through each one. I know it's inside because I ordered it, but uh, let's go through each one. I'll tell you why I got it. And why I got it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so first up, we have Paris. All we know of heaven, and all we is it all we want of hell? All we need of hell. Yeah. I just sometimes call it the second Paris record. Which, waiting on that third one, because the EP they put out last year was very interesting, to say the least. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't anything too experimental or completely opposite of what they did on this record and their previous record. But it, it was 
bit different, a little poppier, you know. Um, I like the track Hallucinations, though. That is a slapper. It is a banger. So that's why I'm, I'm, I'm still optimistic on what the, uh, the third album, the follow-up to this, will sound like. But this record, though, this record is the shit. Um, this is one of my favorite albums of the last five years, man. Um, just in recent years in general, doesn't matter what time. I mean, this album is so good. You know, Paris, they are um, led by the lovely Lynn Gunn. Um, Paris, they're like, they, they fall under the category of alternative. When you look them up on iTunes or Wikipedia or whatever. But um, their stuff is kind of, it, it, it's a dark pop. It's kind of, it's a very dark kind of pop. Um, but there's still a rock element to it, to some degree. They're, they're, they're dark synth pop with uh, guitars, um, heaviness to them. I don't care to keep that sticker. That's what I like about Paris, man. Um, and, and Lynn Gunn's emotion. She, she channels some, some strong emotion on just even the first song, Heaven. Like, she, she yeah. Paris is, is a really, 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 really dope band. Um, and this is my favorite album by them. Um, I like the first record. first record was enough, was good enough for me to be, uh, to, to want to hear what they did on this one. And man, I'm glad I listened to that first record. Because I would have missed out by this. I would have missed out on this one, man. Ah, oh, damn it. It's that dread black paper sleeve. You see why I hate black paper sleeves, man? Ah, I think it was my Dark Descent rec uh, unboxing video where I just, oh. Something about these black paper sleeves, man, is just shitty. They just suck. Like, they don't want to cooperate. They don't want to go in the gay fold. But look at this white vinyl, man. It goes with the record. Come on, man. Come on now. Yeah. Yeah. Now I got to get this damn thing back in there. Oh, my good God. Go in. Just go in. You were in there before. Thank you. But yeah, if you have not heard this record, um, if you've not heard of Paris, uh, they're not on Rise Records anymore. That's kind of what I was talking about uh, when I was talking about Rise Records originally. They're not on Rise Records anymore. I think they're they're on Warner Brothers now, I think. Um, whatever, the, the EP they put out last year was like their first release on whatever, I think it's Warner Brothers, I'm not sure. Whatever label they're on now. They're on a bigger label, a uh, major label now. But, um, yeah, man. I can't wait to play this. This shit's good. This shit's good. Check it out. All we need in, uh, all we want in heaven, all we need in hell. <laughs> all we know of heaven, all we need of hell. Yeah. It's the second Paris record. Paris with a V, not A. Yeah. A lot of y'all will know what this is. Dance, Gavin, dance. Uh, okay. Mothership? Yep. Now look, before all you DGD fans or whatever you guys call yourselves get on me, I like Dance, Gavin, dance. I'm not I'm a huge Dance, Gavin, dance fan. All right? I like them. Got my favorite albums I like I like by them. Got songs I like by them, okay? Uh, I'm a Tillian fan more than I am a Johnny Johnny Craig fan. Era, if we're talking eras. Um, and I have tickets to go see them whenever the tour they have with them and Issues and Animals as Leaders and Veil and Maya and I forgot who's the fifth band. I commit, is able to commence after all this, but yeah. Um... I'm not a super fan, and uh, I reckon that I, I've always seen this album cover. I've always seen this album cover, and that's what 
to me personally, that's what DGD has always been synonymous for. Uh, was me always seeing this this record cover and being like, who is Dance Gavin Dance? Should I check out Dance Gavin Dance? And then a lot of people I've run into, ironically, funny enough, not ironically, but funny enough, every job I was getting for a few years, there will always be one person that I worked with that would recommend Dance Gavin Dance to me. The album that I was really, really wanted was um, um, Instant Graphication, I believe. The one with, of course, Death of a Strawberry, because that's the song that, and the album, that's made me, okay, I think I get why everyone is talking about these guys. I mean, what, what else was there to say about Dance, Gavin Dance that hasn't been said? I know you can say that about anybody, but I mean, really, what, what am I going to add to the conversation of that? They're a very interesting band. That's all I can really say. Um, now, I will tell you one thing. That new album, Afterburner, spoiler alert, I'm, wor I'm waiting on it to, I'm waiting for the vinyl to be shipped. I pre-ordered it uh, as soon as I was done with listening to the album. I pre-ordered it. Um, cause again, I'm not that big a Dance Gavin Dance fan, but I like their music and I'm always ear, uh, I'm always, <laughs> I'm ear, I'm always ear, I'm always interested, um, to, and eager to a, to a degree to hear what their, uh, new album music sounds like. Last record didn't do much for me. What was the last record? Was Artificial Intelligence, I think? I think that was the last record. I don't know. Cause it was a little, it, was, it wasn't that memorable to me. But, um, Afterburn, though, easily probably my favorite Dance Gavin Dance album. The reason I got this is because I've always seen this cover, and this is how the first time, when I saw this, this was the first time I ever knew about what, who, or what was Dance Gavin Dance. But, um, uh, this is a good album. This is a really good album. Um, I don't know if it's a fan favorite or not, but I like it a lot, quite a bit, and I would assume it is a fan favorite as many times as I've seen this album cover to the point where I was, it put them on my radar. Um, but yeah, I, you know, of all the records again, it's a black record, it's black. You don't need to see it. You can see the, uh, Center for them. Mothership by DGD. Sorry if you're a Dance Gavin Dance fan and um, you're just like, why do you have the record if you're not that big a... Because I like Dance Gavin Dance, all right? I don't love them. I like them. Um, and maybe I'll love them after I see them whenever the Afterburner tour uh, is able to kick off because they've been moving that shit around all throughout the year and you know, it's just they finally postponed it to next year which so this one isn't even wrapped up check it out Kang Hill Kill the Sun EP where do I start with this man Kang Hill is probably in my top five favorite modern bands today um Kang Hill in, in, is the shit to be Kane Hill is the shit. I fucking love Kane Hill. I came across Kane Hill. I think it was a revolver. I, mean, I think it was a revolver. I think it was a revolver. Um, revolver magazine, of course. A revolver piece about them. And it was just talking about how they were bringing back new metal. And whenever I hear new metal mentioned in a metal by any metal publication or metal aficionado, um, my ears perk up because I love them. I love new metal. That's what I was raised on. That was my gateway to just heavy metal in general. And um, yeah, I, I, I've been defending new metal for years, way before this new wave of new metal apologists or, or appreciation has been flowing in over recent years, which is because of bands like Kane Hill and another band um, over here that I'm going to get to. Um, 
really kind of brought that back into the new era, new sound of rock and metal today. But yeah, man, I, I checked out Kane Hill just off that article because they sounded very interesting. They sounded very um, thought-provoking, forwarding the topics that they talked about uh, in their music, religion, um, feminism, um, drugs, and just, you know, I like what I like what they were what they were selling with those Kane Hill dudes and the first record which is Smile, uh, I listened to their EP, dug it, uh, loved the first their debut album Smile, loved it, um, and I just loved all the Marilyn Manson and Rob Zombie and Corn influences on that record, and the follow up to that record Too Far Gone even better i'm trying i gotta find that record on vinyl man that is another one of my favorites whereas this is one of my favorite records of the last few years king hill's too far gone is also one of my favorite records of the last few years that album is awesome um them going from new metal which it's got still got this new metal feel few feelings on it um on that record but it's a lot heavier in the direction of early 90s groove metal and alt metal and grunge to stick. Like, they were more inspired by Pantera and Alice in Chains on Too Far Gone. Um, and that's what I, I really loved about that record um, with the direction they went with that one. And that's what I love about this EP, this Kill the Sun EP. This Kill the Sun EP is basically their jar flies. Um, I mean, really, if this is, I mean, fucking empty and kill the sun and mm, is it save me or acid rain? Maybe save me, which is a good, those three songs alone are a good run. Empty, save me, kill me, uh, kill the sun, <laughs> man. The just those are those are some straight up like some Alice in Chains, Jar Flies feelings, but even different though. Not like they're copying Alice in Chains or copying that EP. Like that's just kind of the direction they were going with this EP. You know, just like let's do something kind of acoustic but different and new of what we've what we're known for. And man, if that's any if, if this EP is any inkling to what they're gonna do in this third record that they're working on, dude, I'm here for it. Fucking love Kane Hill. Look at that. Yeah. Interesting. I guess they were just like, there's no point in wait and wasting money on a regular, you know, cardboard sleeve for this little EP, which I, I, I fuck it. So yeah, this is a uh, kill the sun EP by Kane Hill. Check it out. If you haven't heard it, it's really good. Kind of slept on, but really good. And last but not least, this is kind of another EP. Um, a bit of an in-betweener. Something that uh, a band, the, the band put out in between albums. Um, but I had to have it just for the collection's purposes. And because it's a good record. Issues. Diamond Dreams. I talked about Issues in my first vinyl record. Uh, vinyl video. Uh, the, the rock unboxing i i um got headspace their second album the album that came after this actually um and uh uh last year or earlier this year i got beautiful oblivion their most recent record on vinyl too but um i saw this i think this was the only issues record they had on vinyl um in the store and uh, I was like, I'll take it. I got, I got to have it, man. This is an acoustic, basically an acoustic um, 
EP, I guess, or an acoustic album. I, mean, I guess we could say EP. It's only eight songs, but it's 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 a it's some of the songs off of their first EP, Black Diamonds, and or Black Diamond, and their self-titled album. Um, and it's really good. This I was already sold off the EP, Black Diamond. And I was already sold by self-titled debut album. This just solidified it for me where I was just like, I'm all here for issues. They're another band that has really been con uh, um, contributing, contribu contributing to this new metal um, renaissance, I think we want to call it, that's been happening right now in metal. Um, they're one of the first, really. I would say them, Kane Hill, maybe Palisades too. Uh, ah, it's hard to get into specifics. Ocean Grove too, maybe. I don't know. Issues for sure though was one of the first bands uh, on my radar that was bring, trying to bring back, you know, the new metal vibe into metal. I mean. R&B and some hip hop trap feelings too. You know, Scout when Scout was in the band, he was responsible for all that stuff, all that production. Is and on top of that, being the DJ and the keyboards, like, yeah, man. Um, and one of my favorite bass players, Sky Accord, man, Skyler Accord. Um, he's he got man, he's playing on all the shit on all their stuff. His playing is, is is worth the listen alone. For real. For real, for real. Um yeah man, I mean he's he's honestly one of the, he's honestly the, the the prime reason why I listened to so much of issues and got into issues. This is a really good of his um theater. Ooh, look at that. I like that a lot. That is dope. That's fucking dope. Cool as yeah, shit. I recommend you listen to this after you've heard their EP, the Black Diamond EP, and the self-titled uh, record. Um, and then listen to, to this so you can hear just how talented they are with the reimaginings of those songs and just how versatile they are as a band man they're fucking people will get it if people that don't get it now they'll get it years later they'll get they'll get it maybe five ten years later from now but yeah so that's what we have man we we got the dance gavin dance mothership paris heaven to hell that's what i really call it. i call it the heaven to hell album um kill the sun by kane hill and diamond Dreams by Issues. Yeah. Rise Records. Or these records. What do, you, what, do you, what do you think? Comment. Get in the comments. But make sure you like. Make sure you subscribe. Share. All the YouTube stuff. And uh, yeah. That's about it for this video. Peace.